Let's let's go to Chwam Coin Maga. Oh boy, this coin is one of my top coins in this cycle. You know, it has made me good profits. Looking at this structure here, yeah? if you are an investor of Trum Coin, and let's say right now, I will not recommend that. Okay, you buy. Even though, I, even though I say, well, let me let me not question myself now. Right now, you can buy. But what should happen is, uh, when you are buying, you should have a proper risk management because this area here. Yeah, it's an area that price must not go and break below. Because if price break below this zone here yeah, for Trump coin, then it's not good for the coin. So let's establish this zone here. Let's say this is the accumulation zone. You buy here, you buy here. But if it break, you know, and retest, then you are selling. But now, for those of you who are so conservative, you want to get in at the best entry, like you want to be sure of what price is going to do, then look at this zone here. This area before it was um support you know now it's acting as a resistance so what do you think when price is going to break support uh, resistance price is going to transform that resistance into support so you can wait for price to break like this you know come back and come back then you are buying from that that's where you are buying now mirror coin if you are patient you can this can happen you know price can pump like that and you like that and use two weeks one month you know, even two months to pump and even go right straight up before coming back there. So it just depends on how patient are you. Are you patient enough to wait for price to come back there? Because price is gonna come there. That's how price move. You know, the 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 question is when when is gonna come. And that question, I don't think anyone have an answer to it. I don't have an answer, but I know that at one point it's gonna go. That's why we should be playing the long game. You know, if you play the long game, then you are going to be cashing most of your profit, which is very important. If you are trading, you must keep your profit. You don't have to give your profit back to the market makers. One thing I must say to you is that, you know, you need to be doubling down. If say you bought at a certain price point, let's say the top, and you really believe in the project, then work so hard and look at what Bitcoin is doing so that you can be getting the best entries always 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 you know when you when we invest in a project for life it means that like this is what i what i what i do you know let me come let me come to you this is what i do if i love a project like i love a coin i love miro i love um you know pop card i love boomer i love so many coins so many coins why because these so many coins helps me to make more bitcoin does it i like if this coin is gonna outperform bitcoin then I love it and I focus on it to make me more Bitcoin. Now, I must be realistic with my investment goals. If I keep dipping, 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 and I keep bleeding me out, and I see that being in Bitcoin can help me save some of you know, the US the dollar that I'm losing in terms of that coin that I'm holding, then I'm going to be in Bitcoin. Now, let me show you something on the chat. That is gonna blow your mind. So I see. I think you. This my. I think this is gonna help uh, most of you understand um, something like what I'm trying to say here. Now this is it. Is it? Now let's just expect that you bought this coin. You bought um, um, Trump coin. Yeah, and you love the coin. You went and see that. Oh, this coin is still there. But since you ever since you bought the coin, price is price keep dipping, right? And when price attempt to go up, you're like, oh, maybe price is going to go up now. You, you, you allow the coin to dip again. You're like, oh, so you keep buying, 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 and buying. Now, when do you stop buying? You stop buying when you compare that coin against Bitcoin. You look at what that coin is doing and look at what Bitcoin is doing. You have to compare that coin against Bitcoin. And I have a tool that I use. My first two is I go to crypto bubbles. Where I am right now, all coins you see here are against Bitcoin. Now, I have to bring in the Trump coin. Let's see the Trump coin. Okay? The Trump. Um, I think this is the, yeah, this first one. You know, this is the first one. Now, you can see for the year, this coin is up eight, almost 9,000%. For the month, it's down how many percent? 4%, for the week it's up 20%, for the day it's up 13%. So if I bought this coin at the beginning of the year, MAGA, it means this is how much money I must have made. 
But at the same time, if we look at all of this data here, it shows that this part of the fact that this coin is up this much, you know, if say you were still holding this coin, if you want to compare like how much you're down from the gains that this coin has made you, then you know, you should be down, let's say, not that much. If, say, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, you see this coin keep dipping against Bitcoin, then you want to go back to your chart and ask yourself that, where is price? What is price doing? And what is that catalyst that's going to help me know when price is going to favor me? Because now I have money, but I don't want to buy now. Okay, if I buy now... It might take me to the, to the to the bottom again. It might keep going downward. So you are waiting for price to do exactly what I have been saying throughout this stream. You know, price should be in a range, break structure. When price breaks structure, come back, you know, retest structure. That's when you are getting back into that coin. If you got some new entity, you're buying it with all your soul. Knowing that at least there's a catalyst. There's something that is going on. On the chart you know because before price was making lower lows lower lows lower lows lower lows lower lows and now price is attempting to break structure and this structure is in correspondent to what happened here before so guys it's simple you, you know it, it would it wouldn't take you that much of a time to to like look at this you can at time i look at this or i don't have to draw all of this um you know stuff yeah at time i just look at the chart and then I can easily predict what is going to happen with price, you know. So if you love this coin and love other coins, you need to, you know, be able to compare it with Bitcoin. If, say, Bitcoin is outperforming your coin, at least be in Bitcoin while you wait for Bitcoin to give you the, that, that um, you know, go ahead to start buying your coin again. Because at that time now, you know, you're buying it with a plan to cash out profit at a certain price point. Like with Trump coin right now, if so you are buying it, yeah, based on this Fibonacci tool that I drew here, yeah, you already know that if price get to the 0 0.382 zone, we're going to see some, uh, some, sort of, some sort of reversal because there's, we, we have gotten more um, you know, demand and supply yeah. You know multiple times on this area on this area so there's high chances that if price get there it might we might see a sort of some sort of reversal yeah and if say price get to this golden pocket at the same thing but now for us to confirm that we are back in a super bullish uptrend price must do all of this stuff and at the same time price must stay above this zone yeah this golden pocket zone yeah so price must stay above here you know so this is very important when you have to look at what I'm looking. You know, like those of you who want to invest in Trump coin, you already see um, what I've done. You can apply this same uh, knowledge to any chart you see out there. You know, doesn't matter which chart it is, you can apply this same knowledge and you're going to get, you know, the full result. 